everyone, this is Miss Time Bunny and yes, I'm finally back doing some proper videos. It's been a while, but just due to stuff and things, I've not really had much chance to sit down and properly record, but now I am. So, so today's video, I am recording my response to two vloggers more when la back last year they did the nostalgia tag. And I've, yes, it's been months and months and I've been meaning to record this, but I'm here, finally do it. If I remember, I will try and link up the the, the original video from Two Floggers More in the um, comments description, some place, somewhere. It'll be somewhere around, but I will try and link it up if I remember. If I forget, guys, just look, point, point it out to me and I'll get on to that. So, but anyway, as I said, this is the nostalgia tag, originally created by Two Floggers More, and there are how many? Um, ten questions altogether, I believe. Yeah, so ten questions, so let's get cracking. Right, question number one was, what decades were you a child during and do you think they were better than current day? Right, so, I mean, I probably grew up during, because I was born in 1981, I grew up sort of during, like, the 80s and 90s. I was kind of, like, grew up across both. Because I don't think I became sort of, like... So I think, obviously, I became officially an adult in 1999 when I turned 18. So, yeah, I kind of ca count it as both. I was a kid in, like, the 80s and 90s, if you get my... If you get where I'm coming from with that. And, right, so do you think they were better than current day? I think it's a bit yes and no. I mean, they were probably better than current day in that, you know, I probably didn't have all the adult responsibilities and I could just like fuck off out and hang out with my friends or, you know, sort of go up to my nans during the holidays and play with my little group of friends that were there over the park and all, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, I think there wasn't like the adult worries and stresses. I could pretty much just like, if I wanted to go out and see my friends, I could pretty much piss off and do it. You know, if you want, no, I mean, it was more of a case of I, probably had that little bit more freedom within you know within reason in that sense that I could like go oh it's the weekend I can go off and play video games at my friends house sort of thing you know so but I think it's like at the same time it's not I think it's like in some ways it's nicer that I'm an adult because I I have freedom but a different kind and that I obviously have like a full-time job now so I can like buy things that I want like so if I want to say like the new consoles come out I can be like oh I'll save up some money and just buy it because I can or I can buy myself a latest video game or if I see a top and I've got the money I can go oh I love that you know so I think it's yes and no there's lots of different sort of pros and cons I think you know in regards to sort of like the stuff I was able to go and do as a kid as opposed to sort of like now and different sort of types of freedoms and stuff like that so there's probably pros and cons to both sides I mean, there are times when I hate being an adult and I just think, oh, I hate having to go to work and pay bills and do all the just boring grown-up stuff and stress about things. So, sucks. Yeah, so, oh well. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it was in between. Right, number two. What was your favourite toy or toys as a child? I'd probably say it was a toss-up between... Um, like when I was very small, I was really into like um, Gem and the Holograms and She-Ra. So I like really loved the toys that I had for them. So I'm a bit gutted I don't have those toys anymore because I really like them. And or probably as I got older, my Sega Mega Drive. So they probably like that. those were my sort of favourite things. I'd say. Right, number three, favourite TV shows as a child. Ooh, there's probably quite a few. You know, there's like probably X Men cartoon. That used to be on in the Saturday mornings. For those of you that are old enough to remember the Saturday morning, like kids' TV, when they used to have things like Going Live and those kind of shows, and they used to sort of like air lots of cartoons and whatnot, and have silly little sort of like they'd have the, these silly little games that they'd get like members of the audience involved in and that kind of stuff and whatnot. So yeah, they, a lot of them would do the cartoons, and that's when me and my sister would spend like Saturday mornings sat down like watching that kind of stuff. Like we'd watch like. As I said, like for example, like X Men. Oh my god, I loved that cartoon. And like another one I liked was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. So that was when I was a wee lass. Um, what else did I used to watch? 
Also, um, things like Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds and that had like sort of like like per uh, periodically were sort of like rerun hit like here and there. So, so yeah, I got into those. I mean, I must admit, I'm a Captain Scarlet fangirl now. In case you hadn't probably guessed from my shelf here, I've got these little DVDs here of Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds. So, yep. So <laughs> So yeah, it was like those kind of things. So yeah, like Captain Scarlet, Thunderbirds, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X Men, probably the real Ghostbusters cartoon, another old one for those of you that are probably a certain age, you know, sort of stuff like that. It was the kind of stuff I enjoyed watching because it was just like, again back in the days when I didn't have all these grown up worries. <laughs> all right, number four, top three favorite childhood movies. Uh, probably Never Ending Story, Matilda, and probably the first, I don't know, would it be like the first or second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film? It's kind of a toss up because I kind of like both, so, but yeah, sort of like basically, yeah, go with that. Sort of like Matilda, Never Ending Story, then pick one of the first two Ninja Turtles films because I like both of them sort of the same, so, right. Number five. Tell us about a birthday party experience. Well, this one I kind of have like, I, it's kind of like a vague memory. I don't remember as many details now because I was a young kid, but I remember in the um, little sort of shopping precinct area near to where I live, we used to have a McDonald's. I mean, sadly it closed down now a couple of years ago and there's now um, a CEX and a um, Coral betting shop there now. But back when it was a McDonald's, <laughs> Um, they used to have like an upstairs bit where they held like the children's parties and I remember I think I did have I think my parents actually paid for me to have a party in there once I don't remember a lot of the details but I do remember I had like a party in there and I think it was like obviously just being quite young I remember thinking ooh you know yeah again it's one of those things like if you're one of those people old enough to remember when McDonald's used to do the kids parties I think it was more of a case of if you got to have one, you were considered like sort of like the cool kid for a few days. It's like, oh, you got to have a McDonald's birthday party sort of thing, you know. It was like a bit of a thing, you know, for a while. I mean, it's kind of a shame they don't do that anymore because it used to be quite a fun thing. Because what they used to do is I think the um, McDonald's used to provide like a birthday cake. And I think they'd like, you'd get like a happy meal. And they'd also give you like a little tour around the... Um, sort of like kitchen area where they cook and that. I mean, they probably wouldn't do it anymore because of like health and safety and stuff like that. But it's like, that's what they used to do. And it was quite interesting, for like, especially when you're like, you're a young kid and you're like, where does all the food come from? And then they sort of show you around parts of it and say like, oh, well, that's the fridge, you know, that's like the cooking area over there and things like that. And it'd be like, it was always, it was quite interesting actually from that point of view. So yeah, I vaguely, I can't remember how old I was actually. I'll probably have to like poke my mother and ask her. But I do vaguely remember having one of the parties. So I'm and thinking it was quite cool. So, Right, question number six. Favourite board game or video game as a kid? Uh, there's probably a couple I could pull into this. But um, there's one game I distinctly remember playing. I, I can't remember if it was on Commodore or the Spectrum. But there was a friend of mine called Sarah who had like it's gonna sound weird but it was like a postman pack game where you'd like basically you had to I think run around picking up like lost mail but you had to keep your energy up by drinking cups of tea <laughs> and every now and again you'd get ta attacked by this mad little chicken who'd chase you and steal your mail back off you and run off with it and hide it and then you'd have to go back all the way around again to find it <laughs> I know it sounds a bit random, but I remember it used to be, it was such a silly game and it was a lot of fun and like, Sarah, if you're watching this by any chance, do you remember that? Because that was just hysterical. Oh, it was, just, it, was just, it was so silly. It was a lot of fun. Um, another game probably would have been probably the first Sonic the Hedgehog because as I mentioned in a previous question, I got um, a Sega Mega Drive. I think it was around about a year. I'd probably say it was roughly around about a year or so after they'd come out on the market because I think they came out in... I think they were released in 1991 but I don't think I got one until about 92, 93-ish roughly thereabouts. I mean, I can't remember exactly half our hand. I'm sort of kind of guesstimating but I think it was roughly about a year or so after they were released and consoles tend to drop down in price a bit. So, 
So yeah, I'd say probably the first Sonic the Hedgehog because it came with a bundle with the Mega Drive. Probably Golden Axe was another one. So trying to, I'm trying to think of things sort of like off the top of my head of like things I used to play in that. Uh, I think I'll stick with that because that's like the couple that pop straight into my head. So we're going to go with that. Um, number seven. Tell us about a childhood. Um, a childhood of. I don't know what I've written here. I'm probably saying like childhood vacation you fondly remember. Sorry, I just couldn't. For what the fuck have I written here? Tell us about a childhood vacation you fondly remember. Is it? Is it? Is it so. We'll go with that. So, so I just don't know what I wrote there. So, sort of like basically we'll go with a sort of like basically like a memory. Uh, probably my um. When we used to do our family holidays up to Blackpool, like once a year, it'd be myself, my mum, my sister, my nan, and you know sometimes my uncle would tag along as well. Like not every single one, but my uncle Roger would come along as well. We'd go go up like every October school half term to Blackpool. And it was like, it was one of them things I always used to look forward to every year because it was just like something we used to do and it was just like, so yeah, it's not just one, I think it's just like a general thing I always remember doing that and it was great because it was like, as I said, that little thing, it'd be like looking forward to it, like it's going to happen, it's, it's there up on the horizon, you know, <laughs> but they were a lot of fun. But hopefully I'll be going back to Blackpool in May to attend the um, little comic con they do at the... Um, Pleasure Beach is like the little building, I think they call it the Horseshoe, if I remember right. For those of you that know I'm on, what I'm on about, it's in the building where they used to hold the Mystique show, just outside the Pleasure Beach. It's basically being held in there, so it'd be like, <gasps> getting to go back again, so I'm happy. Yes, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> right, number eight. What was something you collected as a child? I'm not sure I really collected anything as a child, really. You know, there are people out there who probably collect like either like rubbers or badges or you know sort of teddy bears, things like that. I don't think I really did, to be honest. So I don't know. I can't think of anything offhand that I used to collect that I can think of, unless you count the um sticker books where you, like the sticker albums that like you get like they used to do like football ones and wrestling ones, My Little Pony, and all sorts of things you could think of where you'd like they do like an album, then you like go and get the little packets of stickers and you'd get about I think five or six in a pack and you'd like have to buy them and try and fill it all up and there'd always be those ones that they didn't print as many of and they were really hard to get and then I think the company said that was to try and encourage children to like do swaps with each other to get the ones they needed so if you if we're counting those then I suppose I did used to collect things right number nine do you still have any of the toys games or items you held dear as a child Sadly, no, because I think a lot of the things I did have, I think I've either given away to people or I've given to charity shops, I've sold, things like that. So I don't think I really have any of my original stuff. Um, I do still own a Mega Drive, but it's not the original one that I used to own because my original one died, unfortunately. But a couple of years ago at a Comic Con, I think I managed to pick one up for about 25 quid. So I think it's before like prices for consoles started getting really ridiculous, so... But I remember this Mega Drive wasn't that expensive, and I, it was quite a bargain. So, so yeah, I mean, I so so yeah, I still own that, and it's given me a good excuse to rebuy some of the old games I used to play as well. So, I still own a Mega Drive, but just not the one I originally owned. <laughs> so, uh, number ten, did you ever take toys into school for show and tell at the end of term? If so, what? No, I don't think we ever really did that at my school, sadly. So. I mean, we had days where I think we were allowed to take toys in to sort of like play with them, like at the end of term. Like if we were doing like a kind of like a half day, they'd let us come in and bring in toys and we'd just sort of sit in our little sort of play area and just like play ball games or play, do colouring, whatever. But we didn't like do a show and tell as such. I think it was more they just let us say like, if you want to bring in your own toys and we'll just let you dick around in class sort of thing. So <laughs> I think that was pretty more what we did, so... But anyway, that is that. I'm sort of like, hope you enjoyed that. Sorry about question seven. I think I've written that a bit arse about face that question. I'll have to go back and look at two floggers more um, video and see what that question was. Because I think I've written like half a 
fucking thing there. So, <laughs> so I was probably half asleep. So, but anyway, as I said before, I will link the original video in the description. I will try and list all the questions as well at some point, so that if you, any of you guys want to have a go, then by all means do it, because it'll be fun to see you guys have a go as well. Because I think there was one other person that did a response. Can't remember if it was Tony at Siltronic Collection. Possibly, I think he may have done a response. It may have been on his old channel, Richtronic Collector, but I can't remember. I know there was, I think, one other person who did have a go, but I can't remember offhand who it was now. But yes, I will link everything in the whatnots. So, but yeah, if any of you guys want to join in, it'd be great. So, but just bear with me, probably give me about, about a day or two to get all the questions up on the comments just in case you know, I mean I'll try and get it all written up ready to go before I upload but sometimes life gets away with me and I don't get the chance so if the questions aren't in the description straight away just give me a day or two to get them up and get them sorted so but anyway I'm going to end here and I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll see you all soon